Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa if you're new here. I make lifestyle videos and nursing vlogs. Today's video is actually going to be 10 healthy habits that have changed my life over the past few years I would say. I've been doing most of these habits for a couple years now and I truly think that they change my everyday life. I think that our habits make up the majority of our life and I'm very excited to film this video because I am actually very passionate about my healthy habits and the things that I do on a day to day basis. So, I'm excited to share them with you. I am very hyped up on caffeine right now. I got a large coffee at Phil's today and I'm like very jittery, no regrets because I love coffee. Anyways, let's get right into it. I try to pick habits that I genuinely do almost every single day or at least I try to do every day. Obviously I have my off days and there are some days that I don't do some of these habits but on a good day I will try to do all of them. Most of them honestly are so ingrained in me at this point that I barely even notice that it's a habit that I'm doing because it just like comes so naturally. So I want to share these with you guys and I hope that some of these can help you. Some of these are probably gonna be things that you've heard before, but others I tried to pick unique ones that I specifically do. So the first being I always drink water or tea before coffee in the morning. So I used to be the type of person that would wake up and literally just immediately drink coffee as my first beverage before anything. And I noticed that I would always want a second coffee in the afternoon. So I would drink one early in the morning and then later in the afternoon, I would would have like that caffeine crash and so I would want another coffee. I also like to do food too because that like alleviates the jitters for me so when I eat something before I drink my coffee I'm not as jittery as if I drink my coffee on an empty stomach. Some of my favorite teas that I like to drink are the brand Yogi. They have like really good teas. I like their elderberry and lemon one. I also like their what is it called? I forget right now what the other tea is called that I drink, but the Yogi brand has really good ones. Also Trader Joe's. I love their ginger turmeric tea. Those are some good options for you. My second habit is walking every day and I have a treadmill in my garage and what I do is I will walk on the treadmill and do something else that I need to get done such as editing a YouTube video, editing a TikTok, or studying. So like when I'm in school, right now I'm on break, but when I'm in nursing school, I like to just put up a video and watch a video to learn something while I'm walking. So it's like killing two birds with one stone and then you're not just walking there and watching the clock go by, you're watching a video. I think that has been one of the most beneficial habits that I have and honestly, if you study and you feel tired, like after a couple hours or so, I would highly suggest just going for a walk instead of taking a nap because I literally do not nap at all. I just, if I get tired, I will just get up and go for a walk. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it works. Going for a walk, it just does something to your brain. I swear I absorb information better when I'm walking on the treadmill while I'm watching a video or doing practice questions or something. You should definitely try that out. Even if you don't have a treadmill, you could just go for like five to 10 minute walk outside. Number three, this one I've been doing for so long that I like barely even noticed myself doing it anymore. And that is no phone when I wake up or no phone right before I go to bed. Definitely when I go to bed, I think that one is huge because when you stare at your screen right before you go to bed, you definitely have trouble falling asleep, at least I do. Having no screen time like at least an hour before I go to bed is like so essential for me, for my sleep and falling asleep. I fall asleep so fast if I read before bed or do something relaxing instead of going on my phone. And then same with when I wake up, instead of just reaching for my phone, I will, well, I usually like check to make sure I don't have any missed texts or calls from like family or whatever but other than that I don't like open social media or any of that I try to read or study or do something that doesn't give me like an instant dopamine rush because I feel like if I get that dopamine rush in the morning from social media then I like crave that all day if that makes sense number four this has to do with healthy eating and that is having three go-to breakfast options I think this is very important for me because I have three breakfasts that I can think of right now that I kind of just rotate between so I have my overnight oats and then in the winter I also do like regular oatmeal and then my chia pudding and then I do eggs and avocado toast so if I'm home and don't have to work I will do my eggs and avocado toast because that's my favorite but if I'm going to work I usually take my chia pudding or my overnight oats and I feel like this just helps with like you don't have to think about what you're gonna eat for me I honestly love all of these breakfasts so I get excited to eat them so for you it might be different but I would just highly suggest having three go-to breakfasts it starts your day off right having something healthy in the morning and then if you want to like eat out later on or whatever at least you had a healthy breakfast 
So my next healthy habit is grocery shopping and meal planning every week. So I like to just write this out on my phone and I know what you're thinking, this takes a long time, but honestly, I've gotten it down to where it takes me like less than 20 minutes to plan out a week's worth of meals and a grocery list because I have like meals that I've obviously made before and it's easy to just throw them together. And then I kind of know now like my grocery list. You just get better over time at doing this. I usually plan out Monday through Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, I kind of just, that's usually when I eat out more or I'll just make a lunch out of leftover things that I have in my fridge and stuff like that. But this honestly just like makes me so less stressed out during the week because I don't have to like think about what I have to make for dinner or lunch. I already have it like on my plan. Say you have something planned for dinner and you're like, oh, I'm not really feeling that. You could just switch it out with some other meal that you had planned for the week. My next healthy habit seems simple, but I swear it makes all the difference. And that is cleaning up after myself after doing something right away. Literally, as soon as I do it, because I don't know, I'm like, I get very stressed out if like there's clutter or a mess. If I'm trying to study or do anything else, like I have to have like a clean space. When I have a clean space, I have a clear mind. So I try to clean up after myself after doing things such as one big thing for me is dishes. So as soon as we're done cooking dinner, either me or Alex will get up and do the dishes like pretty much right away. Sometimes we'll do them together, but I never leave the dishes like overnight or even a couple hours, honestly because it just bugs me so much when dishes are in the sink that is like my number one pet peeve so it literally takes like five minutes to do them especially if you have a dishwasher you literally just rinse them and put them in there but same with like clothes and stuff like when i get dressed in the morning if i throw things like if i take a bunch of clothes out of my closet and i'm like trying to decide what to wear i always pick out an outfit and then put everything back because i don't want a mess to come home to or like i have to clean up later also this helps with not having to do everything on sundays so i know i sometimes do like sunday resets and stuff but on a week to week basis i try to not have like that much stuff to do on a sunday because that kind of just stresses me out and i want sunday to be more like a relaxing day than like a whole cleaning day so i try to do things like throughout the week like for instance laundry i just do it whenever the laundry basket's full basically instead of like letting it pile up until sunday and then having to do it all in one day i hope that helps you guys i don't know like maybe i sound crazy for saying this but that has just been super helpful for me. My next healthy habit, it's also very simple, but that is just making your bed every single morning. It is something so small that you can do as soon as you wake up and it just makes you feel like a little bit accomplished, like having your bed made. I don't know, at least for me. It is so fast. Like I can make my bed in one minute. So this is your sign. Just make your bed. Make your bed in the morning. Make your bed right now if your bed is unmade. My next healthy habit is getting out of bed as soon as my alarm goes off. I used to be that person that would set 10 alarms and there would be like five to 10 minutes apart i would literally snooze it go back to bed get another five minutes but that, that's just it is such a waste of time and i read something that said like when you do that you don't go back into deep sleep so you're actually like not getting quality sleep between those alarms so now i literally just set one alarm and as soon as that alarm goes off, I try to get out of bed right away because if not, I will fall back asleep and I don't have another alarm. Just get out of bed as soon as your alarm goes off. And I swear, it makes you less tired during the day. It's hard, but honestly, I read a book by Mel Robbins and I think it was the three, two, one rule, or is it five, four, three, two, one? It's something like that. But basically, as soon as your alarm goes off, just count backwards in your head, three, two, one, and as soon as you hit one, just get out of bed. <laughs> I don't know, it works for me. I literally tell myself, okay, Three, two, one, get out of bed and then just get out. You just gotta train your brain to do this. My next healthy habit has been huge the past year and that is adding in foods instead of restricting them. When I was like first trying to lose weight and like live a healthier lifestyle, I did this in like what I thought was a healthy way but now that I look back on it, to me it, it wasn't really that healthy because I was counting every calorie I ate and was so concerned about the calories instead of like the nutrients in the food so I would go for the lower calorie option instead of the option that has like more vegetables and more nutrients in it and so now instead of focusing on calories I'll eat the foods that I want I'll try to add as many vegetables as I can and I love vegetables so this isn't that hard but I just find that instead of restricting adding things into your diet this has honestly helped me a lot with like overeating because when I was counting calories so much I used to feel the need to like eat as much as I could when I was allowing myself to I would kind of restrict the bad foods and like fast food and stuff but then like when I could have it I would want to eat like an excessive amount because I was like restricting it and I was telling myself I couldn't have it so now that I tell myself okay you can have that whenever I will just naturally eat 
less of it because I know that I can have it in the future. If that makes sense. I'm no longer counting calories and caring about the calorie amount. I care more about what is in the food and how I feel after eating it. My last healthy habit is something that I'm currently trying to get better at, and that is listening to podcasts and informational YouTube videos. Instead of just watching vlogs and TikTok, I'm trying to be more intentional about the content I'm consuming because whenever I'm doing something, I always just put on a vlog in the background, but I think it could benefit me if I was like listening to an audiobook or a podcast that was like actually teaching me something and I was gaining something from it rather than just having vlogs on all day. For me, I feel like I constantly compare myself to, I don't know if it's just because I like make YouTube videos and TikToks and stuff, but I'm constantly comparing myself to other people's content. So like when I'm watching vlogs, I'm like, oh, I could do this better. Obviously, like I want to still watch some vlogs, but I think I could get better at listening to more podcasts and watching more informational YouTube videos that I'll actually gain something from. Okay, I think that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these 10 healthy habits that have changed my life. I truly think they have, and I hope you gained something from this video. Please let me know down below if you think you will try out any of these habits and let me know if you have any more habits that I should try out. I'm always looking to add healthy habits to my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.